The following is a hoop ball presentation. Hoop ballers, what's going on, hoop ball? It's your boy Troy Murkowski at Dwayne The Rock J on Twitter, and this is another episode of Today in Sports Betting. Special edition here, playoffs, NBA playoffs. Coming in hot, specifically the play-in games, which start today. So let's dive right in. 6.30 Eastern time, Pacer, Indiana Pacers hosting the Charlotte Hornets. Pacers are two and a half point favorites, minus 140 on the money line, over under sits at 227 and a half. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, this one this is going to be a good game. Pacers have kind of been shoddy as of late. Hornets are fun to watch. You have LaMelo Ball, Miles Bridges. You know, I actually really like the Hornets in this situation, not only uh, here in the play in game, I'm looking at the bracket right now. So the winner of this game will face the loser of the Washington-Boston series, and the winner of that game gets the eight seed. Now, I don't see Charlotte uh, winning two games, but I do kind of like them uh, tonight. So I'm going to be taking the plus two and a half on the Hornets. I'm going to be looking for LaMelo Ball to be dishing out lots of assists, lots of dunks from Miles Bridges. Like I said, Pacers have kind of been uh, disjointed, dysfunctional last month or so of the season. I don't like them, not like anything personal. I just don't like them in this spot. So I'm going Hornets plus two and a half. Moving on to the Wizards and Celtics in Boston, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Boston, two-point favorites, minus 130 on the money line, over under at 232. Uh, I like the Wizards, straight up. I like the money line, plus 110. And the points, however you want to take it, I like the Wizards. I think the Celtics are probably going to lose this game, win the next one so that we get that awesome 1-8 matchup of the Sixers-Celtics and a phenomenal 2-7 matchup of the Nets-Wizards. So I'm going Wiz. And let's let's take a little little gander at some of these player props, why don't we? You know what I'm saying? But uh, the the reason I like the Wizards is because – Bradley Beal is going to try and test and play. He says his hamstring is not going to be all the way, but he's still going to play. The Celtics have no one outside of Jason Tatum, and he's streaky at best. So, uh, you know, it's just it's just a situation where I like the Wizards, and not only to win this game, but I like them to win the next game as well and slide into that seven seed and play the Nets so we can get a bunch of uh, hundred and. 240-point games like they gave us earlier in the season. So now that I'm getting my props page loaded up here, see what we got. Nobody builds 5G like Verizon builds 5G because we're the engineers who built the most reliable network in America. And the more you do with 5G, the more building it right matters, the more your network matters. The more Verizon engineers going the extra mile matters. It's us pushing us. It's Verizon versus Verizon. 5G built right from America's most reliable network. Most reliable based on rankings from Rootmetrics second half 2020 U.S. report of three mobile networks. Results may vary. Award is not an endorsement. Points. Russell Westbrook is at 22 and a half right now. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. That was just... uh... Yeah, here we go. Over, under on the points. 25, minus 108 for Russell Westbrook. Give me the over. Points, rebounds, assists. Uh, 51 at minus 120. I, I kind of like that. I'm going to be honest with you. He's averaging this month, what, 18 assists, 16 rebounds, and 24 points. So uh, I think that's not necessarily something that's going to be difficult for him. The question is how much of his scoring will be taken away because Bradley Beal is going to play. So something to keep an eye out for while we're looking at it. I like the rust. I like his over rebounds and over assists. The points is the only part where I'm like, eh, I don't know. Bradley Beal's coming back, but again, he's hobbled. I don't know. 
Now, <clears throat> let's move on to tomorrow's games, the other two playing games. 7.30 Eastern tomorrow, we've got the Memphis Grizzlies hosting the Spurs, 9-10 matchup out west. Grizzlies four-point favorites, minus 170 on your money line, over-under sitting at 222. This, this is kind of a hard one to cap. Um, I would, I, I'm leaning Grizzlies right now, obviously, because we have – over 24 hours until game time, lots of things can happen, lines can shift and move, so it's something to keep your eye on. But if you're one of those early birds who likes to lock stuff in quickly, I like the Grizzlies in that one. John Morant, explosive. We all know what he can do. Jonas Valanciunas has been putting up buckets lately. I like the Grizz. Now, the one that everyone's looking forward to, 10 p.m. Eastern time, tomorrow night, Lakers, Warriors. Um, I mean, the NBA could not have asked for a better play-in situation, honestly. Everyone that was skeptical about the play-in game now has the most ideal matchup possible. Lakers, four-and-a-half-point favorites, minus 200 on the money line, over-under at 219-and-a-half. And I like the Lakers. I'm rolling with the Lakers. They've won five straight. Uh, I, I like them to repeat. I've been saying that the whole season. Obviously, there was some, you know, ups and downs with the injuries. Uh, LeBron's been tweaking his ankle recently, but him saying he's not going to be 100% is just him, you know, feeding the narrative, him also acknowledging he's put up uh, 30-something thousand minutes in the NBA. So the man has his mileage. There's no reason to expect him to ever be 100% again just because father time is undefeated, as we know. Steph Curry been dropping 40-something points per game the last month. Won the scoring title. Oldest person to win it since MJ. Uh, it's going to be a phenomenal matchup. But, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end of the day, it comes down to the depth. Lakers have way more depth. Not only do they have LeBron and AD versus uh, Steph and Draymond as your two stars for the Warriors, but you move into the bench and Kelly Oubre is injured. And who do the Warriors have that's going to stop the big men? Who's going to stop AD? Drummond, Mark Gasol, clogging the paint up. Dennis Schroeder throwing lobs when he needs to. Uh, I just think the Lakers are overpowered. And like I said, I like them to repeat. So I'm rolling with the Lakers minus four and a half for tomorrow night's playing games. Whew. All right, let's take a breath. Let's get to these playoff series prices because I really want to talk about these. Heat Bucks, Bucks minus 290, Heat plus 235. I honestly, when I first saw that, I was like, whoa, heater plus 235, give me that immediately. Give me that right now. But then you start, you know, you start diving in a little, looking at the numbers. And this Bucks team with Drew Holiday is honestly, they're, they're phenomenal. They're another level. That, it seems like Drew Holiday was the missing piece. We've been wondering what's going on with the Bucks the last two years. You know, two years ago, up 2-0 in the East Finals to the Raptors, blow it, lose four straight. Last year blow it in the uh, East semis. Obviously, huge letdowns when they have the MVP and Giannis Antetokounmpo. So with the Bucks minus 290, obviously that's too much juice to be laying. Um, I think the Heat will push it five or six. The Heat are, again, getting hot at the right time, getting healthy at the right time. But I just think the addition of Drew Holiday and uh, P.J. Tucker really gives the Bucks that – that extra level on the perimeter that they've been needing so desperately when teams like the Heat clog the paint and just build a huge wall in the paint and say, come on, Giannis, try it. <clears throat> also, on top of that, Giannis' jump, shoot, jump shooting has been better this season, and if you've watched some of the games, yeah, he's still clanking some, but he's also making these open threes at a higher clip than he was, so that's, that's good news for Bucks fans. Is Mike Budenholzer going to play Giannis more than 25 minutes a game? I hope so. You'd think he'd learn his lesson from the last couple seasons, but we'll see. Either way, I like the Bucks in that series. Winner of the 3-6 matchup faces the winner of the 2-7. Everyone's high on the Nets. Uh, that series price hasn't been released yet because they don't know who the Nets are playing. Like I said, I think it'll be the Wizards, but that's for another day. The other series price I'm looking at right now, Mavericks Clippers. Clippers minus 420, Mavericks plus 320. Um, you know, the Clippers are one of those teams, like everyone else, was kind of avoiding the Lakers, understandably so. 
uh, very smart and tactfully gave themselves the easiest route to the finals, if they are indeed to keep going to the finals. That said, the Mavericks, something about the Mavericks where they just play close with the Clippers. You looked at it last season in the bubble. Luka had that game winner. Uh, KP has been playing a little bit more recently. Maxi Kleba's had a good season. So it's going to come down to will the Stars perform for the Clippers? The same question we've been asking all, all, uh, all season since they blew that 3-1 lead last year in the bubble. That said, I like the Clippers. The winner of that faces the winner of the Jazz versus eight seed. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's going to be a fun matchup. When we get to Clippers Jazz, that's going to be fun. Blazers Nuggets. Blazers minus 125. Nuggets plus 105. Honestly, kind of insane when you say the three seed with the MVP, Nikola Jokic, is underdogs in this series. But the reason being the Blazers, again, getting hot at the right time. It's not as crucial as it is in the NFL. But in the NBA, getting hot at the right time, and really it kind of applies to most sports, getting hot coming into playoffs is what you want. It's a good sign, shows that you're in rhythm. Blazers are that team right now. Uh, you know, they got their 42 wins and got saved that dude's house on Twitter. So it's just interesting to me that the Nuggets are underdogs. Uh, but the price at only plus 105, it's not much beyond even money. So the value there is not very high in my book, personally. So, I like also this thing we got here that's uh, playoff series exact results. So, if you can predict the exact result of the series, for example, I think the Knicks are going to beat the Hawks. It probably goes six or seven games. Knicks 4-2 is plus 550. Uh, Knicks... Let's see, Knicks 4-3 is plus 400. So, obviously, there's a lot of volatility. It's incredibly difficult to predict the exact series price, and they're not going to have them up after the first game. However, this is one of those things that uh, I – this is for entertainment value. I like to throw a quarter unit, a half unit here or there. And uh, I'm going to be looking at some of these Knicks and uh, Hawks series prices, exact series finishes, just because – they're so evenly matched in the series price for them. When you just look at who's going to win the series, not a lot of value there. That's where you look at what's the exact result. Again, very volatile, very hard to predict, but you can snake some good value out of it. There's all kinds of value to be had in the NBA playoffs. And uh, the play-in starts tonight, continues tomorrow through Friday, uh, or through Thursday, excuse me right? Thursday or Friday. And then the actual playoffs are here. Best time of the year. Head on over to hoop-ball.com. Get your wager pass. We've been killing it. Brewski's what? 60% since all-star break. 59% absolute heater to end the season. Thank goodness. Cause I've been very bad since all-star break. Still up 20 units on the season though. Thankfully. Um, yeah, check us out at hoop-ball.com. I am Troy Murkowski. You can find me on Twitter at Dwayne underscore The Rock J. And, uh, yeah, always available to answer anyone's questions you might have. Just hit us up. We want to help you guys win, too. So uh, thank you for listening, and let's enjoy some playoff basketball. This has been a Hoop Bowl presentation. At CVS Health Hub, you can see a provider, fill a prescription, and grab what you need all in one trip, even on evenings and weekends. That's healthier made easier. Visit a CVS Health Hub today. Services vary by location. See cvs.com slash health hub for details. Discount Tire has just made tire shopping easier. Their touchless experience allows you to buy tires and book your appointment online. Then when you drive in, you can stay safely inside your car as the tires are installed. Discount Tire. Let's get you taken care of.